What is going on, miners, and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we're back with Mining Roundtable, episode 11. How's it going? Red Fox Crypto and Chum Change. Dude, crushing it. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> love it. Love it. So uh, as we usually do, we'll kind of go around the table here and catch up with each other, kind of see what's been new since our, our last episode, and then we'll kind of dive into a few topics that we have for today. So I'll throw it over to Chump Change first. Uh, since last week, what's been new with you with content, mining, purchases, all that fun stuff? <clears throat> um really just a lot of the uh that scam hack stuff that's been going yeah. on so that was yeah. <laughs> that was a big uh topic this week thankfully my man yeti over in uh Mississippi mining discord has uh been a huge help with that and then what's the latest less, I, what's the latest on that by the way the uh so um, the end uh, uh the nvidia current one that it seems to be ongoing right so they had um they had a deadline by friday that's what the hackers are saying they were gonna yep. you know release it friday if they didn't have you know an answer from nvidia or whatever um but somebody apparently is going to be buying it off of the hackers so they yeah. said stay tuned and we'll let you guys know we're, we're negotiating basically with somebody that wanted the the package it's probably you know nvidia through a third party or something it, you know <laughs> what i mean it's probably yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but, but you know, when you buy that, you don't get exclusive it. rights to it. Like it's not that's, like a business contract where it's like you buy this yeah, and now right. it, it's like, yours to own. I guess what you buy this, you're, you're going to get taken back and go to jail probably. So that's <laughs> it's just, not a, I don't <laughs> that, understand. Dude, that's what I was wondering. I was like, all right, so say there's a huge mining farm out there that has like LHR cards. Are they the ones who are like, yeah, sure. $1 million. Here you go. But do they sign some kind of contract to be like, they have rights to this at least through the scammers that they won't release it anywhere else yep i don't yeah, know man it's crazy you're dealing with scammers so and hackers like come on i know it's so sketchy man it's just i don't know that's kind of why i just left it alone i'm like i'll let the dust settle and see what the hell happens in a little bit um I but yeah other than that, that today, i was actually thinking sorry to cut you off i was thinking right. about that today like two to nvidia it's not worth a million dollars like with the path that ethereum's going on i was thinking about this like if proof of stake hits when it's scheduled to is it worth a million dollars like does it change like if you sit here now and you're nvidia and you go does this going public change anything for them no they release lhr as a marketing combo for gamers to appease the gamers so that they were quote right. fighting the miner, you know, fighting the miners. So well, when it comes out, the problem is though they took they took other files, so they took yeah. their signature. Sure. They so yeah. Nvidia, yeah, yeah. like the yeah the files that are in there, like they can physically take that and sign programs, so it looks like Nvidia made it. That's the problem. It's not so much the LHR thing. It's really like all Got the, it. Got the it. you know the rest of the crap that's actually in this one terabyte that they took because they only like gave a glimpse of a little bit of it. So that was like. I could just imagine what they actually really have, which is kind of, you know, crazy. But, um, yeah, I mean, just kind of getting off that really the rest of the week, I just kind of did, um, some water blocking stuff. I actually got my other 3090 water blocked and recorded. So that's probably going to go out tomorrow at some point, maybe in the afternoon. And then, um, I actually started building my, uh, water cooled PC. So that should be done this week. And I'll be able to do a video on that, show people how to do that. But, um, <laughs> Man, that's pretty much it. Red Fox, what have you been up to? How many cards you buy this week? <laughs> only <laughs> one. Dude, only one. <laughs> Good. Slowing down, huh? Yeah. It was a 3080 Ti for the win uh, I bought. So it was MSRP. You stepped down, huh? You stepped down. Well, stepped I was down. like, oh, you know, I got three of those. I don't like odd numbers, so I might as well buy this one and then nice. make it four. And then, uh, then I'll It's going to have to be six because you need a well, full rig. <laughs> Well, I have. Two other, well, this is the other problem. Now I have I have six thirty eighty Ti's, but only four of them are for the win threes. So I'm like, uh, oh, man, I got to get rid of the other ones and switch those out. I know that's me, man. All day uh, I do it to myself too. I can't. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm man. trying to live with it at this point. So it's not worth it. just just uh, that's the only GPU purchase, and then I'm just trying to slow down a little bit um on that on that stuff because catch up with what i have but that that felt like a pretty good deal um otherwise not much I, I recorded a ton of videos got those out this week which i'm stoked on and i just have a good job about yeah thank you i just have like another 12 or to 12 6 12 16 20 gpus i got i want to get mining in the next couple of days to just like be able to sit back and be good with it because i have some power now 
that can run them off of. So I just got to get them built, which feels which feels good. So yeah, did that's you say where I'm 12, at. 16, 20? Like you kept up in the number? Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, something like that. I, that range. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, glad that that. I'm glad you caught 12, that. 12, 16, 20. I was like, what the hell? What? Yeah. What, GPU, what GPU are we talking about here? Trying to figure that one out. <laughs> like, what model is that? Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. Javius, what have you been up to, man? Uh, the basement's been my big focus. Uh, that's moving along finally well. Um, we're kind of pausing that until after tax season um regarding like doing flooring and stuff i mean there's little stuff here and there i went to i was at home depot today buying some on and ends that i have to do before we do flooring but that's kind of the big one uh, so after tax season i haven't done any of my taxes yet um this year i'm kind of waiting until uh the end of march and then kind of kind of dive into it um i haven't really been making any purchases uh other than uh putting together that 6600 rig uh the last card i needed actually was from you that i got in so that was like perfect. That was number twelve. Uh, but other than that, uh, just been holding off just because of the fact of taxes is like this is my first year kind of running through the tax deal. So I've just been piling up cash and then going to do taxes and then be like, OK, what do I got left after all of this yeah. uh, is kind of my game plan at this point. Um, so other than that, that's really been it. Nothing too crazy for me. I mean, it's been actually quiet. Uh, I am. uh trying to plan out enough content now because like this week great but then the following week like i fly out for vegas on sunday so, so uh, jealous so, so jealous so there'll be a guest there'll be a guest by the way we'll spoil it on 11 there'll be a guest for 12 uh, <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be coming on uh to replace me yep. Yep. Uh, but uh yeah so i'm just kind of i want to get some content put together uh for that week just so that i can kind of focus on some other stuff i want to actually take see i'll be away from home and I won't really be doing much in the evenings. Uh, I've been to Vegas multiple times for work, so it's not like, ooh, Vegas. Uh, so I want to like take that week to catch up. You guys know how it is right. like with family right. and yeah. kids and stuff. It's like, great. I'm going to come back to my hotel. I'm going to bang this out because I never have time to do it. Uh, right. So, yeah. So that's really been it. Uh, nothing that's too awesome. crazy for me. Um, Real quick, I, on your on your tax subject, right? Yeah. Um, did you, did you file the LLC the end of last year before? Okay. No. So, like, hit the... 2022 if you're uh if you're a business you have to be filed by march 15th not mm -hmm. april so yep. that's just letting you know that i just want i was like uh let me let me tell them before i forget <laughs> yeah i did everything this year because i wanted to do like a clean slate like okay great i'm right. just gonna yeah. start it out 2022 and and that's been that's i've actually that has been pretty good um you know keeping up with things um the website i've actually been using for like tracking things which has worked out really well if anyone's out there that's listening not crypto necessarily. I know Red Fox isn't really going for crypto, but just for business expenses is uh, Wave Apps. I really like that website. It's really nice. They have a free tier for like a one person type of business uh, setup. And that's worked out really nicely for me, just keeping track of that. So uh, yeah, first year kind of awesome. going through it. As I told people, like year one for me, I didn't know like even if mm -hmm. crypto or like YouTube would work out. You know, right, like right. I wasn't I wasn't too sure. I know... Um, but it's funny, I get a lot of people that reach out to me hearing that like so like the three of us do LLCs or or S Corps and they're like, Okay, I need to do that. And I'm like, You're just a home miner. You don't you don't need to do that stuff. Right, right. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. A little different that, for us because we have the YouTube thing. It's you know Yeah, and especially with like now this year has been really big for me on um like partnerships and collaborations and stuff like that right. that I'm starting to get into with companies. It's like, okay, like I, you know, and I have that being set up with the LLC and stuff. So it's like, there's some reasoning behind it. It's not, I mean, I tell people if I wasn't creating YouTube content, I would not put, put together an LLC for crypto right, mining. Right. Yeah. You're just trying to protect your, yourself. That's basically yep. what it does. It just separates you from your assets. And on top of that, like when you have sponsorships, you know, the money they give you is like your, your personal stuff where that money goes is protected, you know, from the LLC, it's just separated. So. I get it. I get why you did it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, I got, uh, I, it took a while, man. It took two months, I think, for the LLC to get established for the state. Like, I was waiting to hear back from the state, which everything's oh, slow. Sure. Everything's slow with the states now. Um, right. Uh, but yeah, um, EIN I got. I got the bank account set up. I got the company credit card now. I'm in the process of setting up the PayPal. So just kind of getting everything routed to the appropriate places. So there's a good paper trail with everything especially right. with like commissions and stuff like that. Um, so 
yeah, it's it's exciting, but it is a ton of work. I mean, uh, I look at someone like Red Fox, I'm like, man, he's been doing this for a while now. I'm like, he's probably got this down. <laughs> he's like, no. I'm not <laughs> <even."> <laughs> you just, I was just thinking about my first year, man. Just mining was a nightmare. Mm. Uh, and then every year I'm like, I'll keep up with it throughout the year. So it's not this like yeah. big undertaking. Uh, it's going to be a big undertaking. You know, just I, I got to sit back and go through all the GPU purchases. Um, I have, you know, it's obviously it's all like digital. It's just got to get yep. it in one place. Uh, electric again, get it in one place, all that stuff. Just get my expenses together uh, just to see what I might owe tax taxes yep. wise or, you know, where the business of mining is at. And then I was, I'm going to roll the YouTube channel in all of that too and treat it as one is the same. Right. Uh, and just see where I where I end up at the end of the day, and if I have to sell any crypto to to pay off, or uh, I, I, I think it'll probably it might still be at a loss. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I I've think, been tracking uh, it pretty close um, yeah. with like that Wave Apps page. I've been tracking it close, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm in the negative still. Heck yeah, yeah let's keep yeah. that going. <laughs> you know, like, like, and that, that's the nice thing. As soon as I, you know, as soon as I see income stream come through the door and get in there, I'm like, oh, let's get a little close. We're gonna buy some GPUs now. Yep. <laughs> I think the I and mean, chump change knows he's the businessman. Yeah. Like running in the negative is, is pretty much what businesses do in the first few years. Right, my dude. Right. So, yeah, you really I guess you have until like the first five years is the, the real like stop claiming a loss. Basically, that's like that's like the, the golden rule I've heard anyways. Um, But it's not even I mean, obviously, you're doing everything legit, but it's just. Oh if you if you start like continuously claiming a loss and you're never making a profit why the f are you doing this and then the government's <laughs> to gonna quit. look into you you know what i mean yeah. like yeah it's like you're obviously doing something shady and that's i mean even if you're not doing it it just seems like that because it's just you know five years come on you're really like you're going nowhere why the hell are you still doing it just <laughs> simple as that but that's um yeah that's what i've always lived by just thinking like that but i mean my accountant takes care of everything i just give them everything they need they ask for stuff i'm like it's in your hands. It's just easier because yeah. it's just uh, uh, it's too much for me to handle. I mean, having the business and then this. So it's like two separate businesses. I just I'm like, you, you take care of it. I got my wife got like, you know, rental properties. I'm like, uh -uh, I'm guy, not doing any this of it. Guy over here. <laughs> I know, you, got, big man. you got the guy uh, you're sending to buy GPUs uh, for you that we've learned about. So got the account. Yeah. You know, it must be nice, it's just easier, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to be the guy doing TurboTax business for TurboTax. I'm like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but Man. no, that, I mean, that, that's definitely, um, the way to go. Something I'm learning very quickly is like, you know, I record everything instantly because I'll forget about it. So it's like, I record mm -hmm. it instantly. I, I download the receipt or the invoice instantly, attach it instantly. Cause if not, I'll forget about it. And like yeah. everyone once or twice, I was like, Oh my God, I forgot about it. I was so mad at myself. Like, how did you forget? <laughs> right. Come on. That's like the lovely thing about Amazon, right? You can just go back into mm -hmm. your like purchase history and yep. just like if they need everything, there it is. But like yep. I have a, a sole bank account. I'm sure you guys do yep. that. Just everything comes out of when I do purchases. So I'm like, all right, like obviously you can see expense and in, you know, whatever's coming in. But it's like if you need a full breakdown, I'll give you the full breakdown. But this is what's in the account. And this is specifically only for this business. So if you yep. want the, the actually what everything is, then I can print it out. But um. If not, like here's the the bulk numbers and this is what it is. I just kind of organize it, let her know. And I'm like, if you need anything else, just let me know. Like that's, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. there's so much, man, so much. And people don't realize that getting into this, it's like you really need to be on top of it. Because if you're not, you can get yourself in a in a world of trouble in like in no time and you don't realize it, you know? Dude, that's the third thing for my <clears throat> first year is I had the pool just paying me out like all the time, like multiple payouts a day. And I was just like, oh tracking all of that stuff is a nightmare sucks i, I sucks. even just i i even just upped my minimum payout threshold again uh yesterday on ethermine because it was like oh, once a week you. i was like ah it's too much i need like once once a month once every two weeks is what i want just to track if you're not had, doing anything with it then you might as well yeah, too you know right, like yeah. yeah right if you don't need it to pay your bills and whatever you know so what do you uh what do you have it well do you mind me asking what did you have it set at that was paid out every week because what the hell man like how much giga hash you got over there now i feel like around the same as you i think so i had uh, it uh it's with and then obviously the gray would yeah would change correct. this but i had it at a point two eth 
Oh, just, okay. All right. Yeah, I just upped it to point four, I think. I got you. I got mine at one. So that's why I was like, just one ETH. I just wait for it. I was yeah. like, God damn, man. How much? Like, what do you? I was thinking you got it at one, too. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I got how much uh, three Holy Ethereum shit. pays me out I'm every like, week. I'm like, dude, I'm getting like, I'm getting like two Ethereum a month. I'm like, damn, that's fast, man. I'm yeah, still man. at one. And then I have my gray still. I haven't messed with my gray, but it's still set at like 55. Granted, yeah. it's, it's like crazy good now, but uh, yeah, mine was at 55 and I'm still at point one, but I'm also significantly less than you guys from the uh, giga hash that you guys are at. Giga right. hash. Yeah. Big, big man. Part of the giga gig club. Hash. The gig club. <laughs> I was trying oh, to man. figure out when I got in, like uh, when I started YouTube, I got to go look. I wonder, I don't even know if, if I was at a giga hash yet back in uh, November of last year. And I think it's just it's just been wild since then, man. I don't I mean, think I was whole, there though. Too, oh, right now, this whole so past far, year has been insane for all of us. No, all of us. I mean, we've all came from friggin' nothing. For yeah. Christ's sake! Like since the beginning of 2021, we were just like, I, I can't even believe how much we've expanded, just in general. I mean, hobbyists, you just you know. You I, did, I wasn't minding. You I were was just right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah, nuts absolutely nuts but i mean what uh, else you guys been up to what's uh what do you guys have plans for i guess uh, anything dude, specific got to figure out the today was the preview of me figuring the shit out for summer oh, oh my 70, oh, 70 oh. degrees what we're did i get to you, what were yeah. <laughs> what were you i'm sure i know what hobbyist's experience was like he's not far <laughs> from me what was it like for you chum change today yeah dude, it was warm it was like 80 degrees in my house um but I don't know what it was outside actually. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I went downstairs to the grow tent and I was like, damn, it's hot in here today. So I went down and checked it. The hot aisle was at 108, but the uh, the cold aisle was still like in the 90s. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's all right. It's still working. But uh, yeah, it was it was cooking. It was cooking. The car, Some of the cards are hot. My 3060s, the white rig, my favorite, your favorite, you know, <laughs> all, all, all of our favorite cards. The all the fans are broken. Dude, they're like half of them are broke. I actually took three of the cards out of the flight sheet completely because they just they were they were cooking. Like like I said, that I don't have it with me, but that fan, like when it shot out at me, I was like, all right, this is it. I can't even do it. So, so I I, uh, I just took them out of the flight sheet. I'm like, all right, those ones are stuck. This one's missing the fan. They're out. And then today I looked and it's like the fire emoji on Hive OS. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. oh damn it. So I went down. We were, we were friends today. Me and the fire like, emoji were uh, friends today. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this thing's off right now. Shutting it off because I'm doing those fans anyways. I got the 3D printed shrouds for the 120 millimeter fans yeah. to go on that. Nice. So that, that's going to be a video this week. I have to. I don't have a freaking choice. See that? <laughs> I'm just going to keep it off because, oh, it's just bad. But yeah, Dude, it was my, scary. My garage with the, I have 16 GPUs in there and then the ASIC, the Bitcoin ASIC in the oh. garage. It is, it has got to be like over hundred degrees in there. There's no way it's not. It is so. You're not exhausting it at all, right? You just got no, the I just window have, open. I, yeah, I just got the window open. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot in there. It's insane. <laughs> Don't they have that uh, 3D shroud thing? Didn't you buy that? No, I, did. I didn't do oh, anything. I have. Oh, that was I you. Oh. <laughs> Cryptocloaks.com. Right. Get one, talk get about one. this. Get one tonight and nah. literally buy it and you're nah. good. Uh, I just want to I see got the ASIC really... melt. Yeah. Oh my god, that's great. What what version is it? The one you have? The ASIC? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's an older one, so it's like a 42 terahash or something like that. So like half okay. what the new ones can do. I got you. But I even if you. I put like an exhaust, you know, one of the nice uh, exhaust fans in the window, I don't have the intake in there. So yeah. I don't know. I don't uh, know what I'm gonna do, man. Summer's gotta, coming. Yeah, I gotta. I think the next two days I gotta sit down and like start really figuring out what the hell my yeah. plan's gonna be. The nice yeah. thing is the server cases, which I think I have. I have one more Octo Miner coming, and then maybe one other server case. Maybe helps me like really compact everything into one space, so the airflow is like in and out. Maybe that'll help me out a little bit with my setup instead of all the open air frames. But yeah, I don't know. Dude, it's I've gonna been be thinking about it. Yeah, I, there's actually there's somebody I'll go find it. So send it to you guys. Somebody sent me a picture of their setup and they have um, essentially custom built something to fit server cases and got like airflow going right through them and then right out of their house. And it looks yep. pretty. It looks pretty nice. Not for probably the amount of GPUs that we have, but at least for like a proof of concept for something yep. we could do. 
I was like, oh, that's I like that. It's like really directional for the airflow versus like the open air frames. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, I, I talked to Octominer because I was gonna buy more cases, and then um, Ethereum decides to tank on me, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait because I I yeah, gotta get the smart. most out of what I can get. So I'm like, all right, I'll just I'll wait, and I've been thinking about it. I'm like, all right, so if I do this, yeah, I could keep I could keep some in the house, but it's like I kind of want to keep the grow tent set up and just leave it there, but still have like a, a shed that I'll build something more or less. It won't really be a shed. It'll just be a, a, uh, like a closet more or less outside built like a shed somewhat. That'll just shed fit closet, the Octominers to have it come in and out <laughs> <laughs> to have it just come in and out and it will yeah. just, you know what I mean? Suck it in, suck it out and call it a day. I think it'll keep the GPUs perfectly fine, even in like hot weather. So I've been kind of thinking about that just kind of under the deck. Cause I have a real high deck on uh, yeah. the back of the house so so shelf closet help. underneath your high deck <laughs> yes shelf <Pretty> closet. <laughs> Shed closet underneath your high deck yeah so, <laughs> perfect so on my side of things yeah it was definitely like that 75 today and it was a, it was a perfect uh preview of spring um which i'm thankful for but i'm also like dang it like because the challenge is so in my setup i have the intakes and exhaust and i was experimenting with it all day long like Okay, do I do a ton of positive? Well, the downside is, is like, I have a ton of intake coming in. Well, that's like 75, and then the room heats it up. So my challenge I found today was not necessarily my intake or my exhaust. It was airflow in the room. So like air blowing over the cards. That's my problem. I've, yeah. I've already identified it. I'm already seeing it. Um, so as, as all of us, all three of us know, and, and hopefully our audience knows, it's not necessarily about how cold the cards are. It's more about the airflow over the cards to recycle the air as fast as possible. Yeah. So I have those, those three uh, built hard, is the name of the brand. This, they're 5,200 CFM fans. Um, and I pulled those out. And man, like as soon as I put one I even remotely near the rigs, it was, it was a lot, a big difference. But that room I saw upwards of 99 today. Um, but that was like me experimenting with it. And I also haven't swapped it entirely to like, I'm going to call it summer mode yet. So like the back of my door that's slotted is completely covered still. And I still have just as much intake as exhaust, which isn't what I'm going to do in the summer. I'm going to take all my intakes and make them exhaust and just have it exhaust through my house. Like use my house as that ambient air is my goal. I may be a fool. We'll have to see. Um, but, uh, that's my game plan right now. So what I might do is I have shelves like this one here. I might literally do 5,200 CFM fans all, all on each of these and roll it in the middle of my room and just have it like blow on both sides and just blow over top of my rigs. Like I'm, th I'm trying to think through it like, all right, summertime, what do I need? Like I just need to blow air over those rigs and then everything's going to be exhausted. So that air is not going to sit long at all. Um, so I'm starting to think through that a little bit. Um, I, uh, but the one, there's two things I want, I found first off my 3060, I got up to 78 today and I was like, all right, pull, pull that thing out. I hadn't changed pads on it or anything on it and did that right before, um, we actually recorded this. So I right away when it gets hot, it's a quick identifier of who needs new pads, who needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Uh, but the last thing I noticed, which uh, I am very curious on with you guys, too, is my server cases, my octo miners, and this is not pumping them, but they were fine. My GPUs yep. and my octo miners, they were they were good as anything. Yep. hundred percent. No so hiccups, no fire emojis. I was oh. happy, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so man, that's, just... something, that's something on my mind, too. I'm like, mm, that's what is the long term play? What's yeah. the long term yeah. play here? Cause it's just, it's all about just getting the hot air off the card. That's yep. what it's all about. But then it goes, yeah. you got to put it somewhere. Yeah. You got to get it out. Yes. So, so, so I was trying to figure out like, all right, what size grow tent do I need and, and all that? And I was thinking of you chum change. Cause somebody recommended and they sent me some pictures where in their, in their probably basement, they just essentially bought plastic. Like you made that custom grow tent you made and they just made yeah. Yeah. And hobbyist decided yeah. to actually yeah. frame and build a grow tent in his basement out of drywall <laughs> and, and everything. But, yeah, I still, I still think it'd be so cool. Like, granted, if somebody ever busted into your house to literally build, build a framed out room, but then just do plastic on the whole thing, so it's yeah. a giant grow tent. Well, that's what they did. They essentially yeah. took plastic Perfect. and stapled, they stapled it to the ceiling, you know, and and sealed it with tape or whatever, and then 
uh they put like weights or something on it on the floor oh, and seal it and all that boards. yeah but then they like made their own custom grow tent essentially in their basement i was like huh that's interesting maybe yeah. i should do something like that but i also like the idea of just getting some of those big industrial fans and putting them on the floor and then have that blow air over the cars and just having two basement windows essentially sucking air out but i still feel like i got to get some air coming in so it's not just always this place it's not like just sucking out my air conditioning from upstairs you know yeah yep but uh man the wheels are turning already for me after today i'm like all right time to figure this out you know uh winter has helped me out so far and eventually it won't yeah right yeah, I also even thought about, too, for you, if you were to build a frame with two by fours, um, like a room, but out of two by fours, um, I also thought of the fact of I've seen a lot of people start doing this with like server case. This is another example where like I'm leaning more towards server cases moving forward is like you could slot a server case into that plastic, like an Octominer, for example, the intake pulls from your house of that server case, the exhaust blows into this giant plastic room that you've built. And then you have those go right outside to yeah. vents in your window. That's where, like, I'm starting to think. I'm like, damn, like, that was um, something that I've been chatting a lot about with DJ Mines and his shed build and stuff and things like that. And I'm like, man, like, server cases are just, they're becoming more and more appealing because yeah. it's like it does the airflow and you can build around them. I can't build around an open air rig. I can't get that airflow that you can with it. So now I'm like, I have a few server cases coming um, for a few different brands that have reached out to me recently that are that are in the works. And I am actually really excited to move away from some of these open air rigs and move more into server cases, honestly. Yeah, I'm 100% with you. So I'm changing. I had a question for you. So you're doing the 3090s. You just did your second one with the water block, right? Yep. Um, what I'm curious around like cost, say like per GPU, like what do you what do you think that adds on? roughly cost wise um so the main water block was just under 200 bucks and then the active back plate was 250 wow so yeah it was pretty much like 400 400 bucks or so i'd say just for yeah. the water block stuff and then you're looking at like all the fittings and all the bs like you could totally hack it together but i just like <laughs> I, I i couldn't i couldn't like cheap out on this so i mean it it easily added for my setup probably twelve hundred bucks anyways, at least twelve to fifteen hundred. But that's because I bought, you know, two thirty ninety water block and active back plate with all the fittings, the you know, the pump, the radiator, fans, like the three thousand CFM fans. I got a, a CPU block for my CPU. So it's yeah, it, uh, I don't know. I added up pretty quick. It's I thought about doing it for the white Zotax because yeah. you can get the water blocks on amazon um they were like 180 bucks and i'm like i'm not spending 1800 dollars in 10 cards i'm not doing it <laughs> that's I crazy I, just, I can't i can't do it so that's yeah awesome. that's that's kind of out the window but it's great they work great i was also wondering too like um how much wattage the water block with the pump would pull versus like fans at 100 percent it was like something i was curious around because obviously water block keeps that thing super cool but like right. getting back to like the math of it, I was like, huh, I'm curious how much that costs. It's it's probably not worth it, I would I would imagine, right? For most people. But I was I, should, like, uh... I was also curious, like, oh, if it runs a little less watts than fans, then can you do the math over time that you would actually be saving some watts on that thing? I'm just curious about that. Yeah, so that's a good could, question. If you could test that out for me, you know, <laughs> I your next, you know. next available now, uh, time. <laughs> yeah, no, I could check how uh for sure how much um like wattage these things pull with the water block and stuff like the whole system or whatever yeah. you want um i kind of wish i did that now and wrote down the number before <laughs> i water block it. god video. damn it <laughs> what do you have no, it's, what it's do you have the, you have the evgas right yep yeah or, for the winter yeah. is yep and you did both you have just the two that you already water blocked or in yep. progress yep yeah, they're both they're both running on this pc right now so yeah that'll be nice. like i said i just have to edit the video all right, well, get yeah. to work. I'm curious. Get on it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like on the 3090s, just based off of the hash rate and everything like that and the investment, it, it could be worth it to do a rig like that. But I feel like as you start to go down to some of these other cards, it's like, eh, it's not really right. worth the investment on it. Especially because, like, the 3090s, you have a lot of longevity with them. You know, you're, you're going to have those for a long time versus some of these other GPUs. So it, it might, right. not, might not actually be a bad idea. It's like a great alternative to worrying about 
exactly what we just spent the last 20 minutes talking about with heat. Right. And the, uh, so like the active backplate for the 3090s is probably the biggest thing because it keeps these cards at like, you know, mid 80s in your, your mining, you know, awesome. the whole time. So it's like, it's, they, they used to reach like in the hundreds, 106, 108. Yeah. I've seen like it, it got astronomical, but now they're like high 80s. I've seen 88. That was it. So it's working good. Yeah, that's killer, man. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So another thing I thought about, which was a fun topic to talk about, talk about, we can uh, use him as an example, is solo mining. Um, yeah. And uh, our, our fellow content creator and friend DJ Mines did this. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Rip. Uh, but he did this for 30 days. Uh, he did a 30-day challenge, and a bunch of other people added to uh, his, his hash rate, which I think was really cool to see. Uh, but I was curious if you guys have done it of any kind. Have you thought about it? Uh, kind of where you're at. So I know Chump Change has done it. So I'm going to throw over to Red Fox first. Um, you're solo mining Firo, though, even right now, right? Yep, still going. Still solo mining Firo. Uh, currently, as of the last 11 blocks, not worth it. But <laughs> previous to that, uh, it was it was pretty good. But my luck has seemingly run out. Well, it's because uh, you mentioned it. Yeah, you right, did red yeah. panda. You made the mistake. You mentioned yeah. it on red camera. Panda. Yeah, red panda also ruined it for me. So <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, it's always man. his fault. When in doubt, it's a whole nother story. That guy. But uh, <laughs> it's honestly, it's it's. I would not be moving a whole farm to it like yeah. DJ Mines did. But uh, yeah, it's that guy. It, he yeah, has man, like but, nuts the size of grapefruits <laughs> taken oh through it for thirty yeah, days. Uh, I would have died. There's no yeah. way like not but a for like for like a rig or something like that i think it's fun um the thing i was talking about on my stream earlier today was just i think if you if you're in a place like where he was where you can you're it's saying you'll hit a block a month that's really yeah. risky to me but if you okay. can be in a place where right. you hit a, a block a week or several blocks a month then it feels a little bit like yeah why not let's have some fun and do it um obviously there's a huge risk there but yeah like and I think that's what I think about is how often could I hit a block? Is that enough for me to take this risk and do this? And that just spices things up. You know, when you've been grinding out mining Ethereum for month over month over month over month over yeah. month, it's like, oh, let me do something different. And like, it's kind of exciting. It's like a gamble, just like anything else. So, but um, Chump Change, I know you did, what did you do? Ethereum Classic in the past, I think, right? I remember you yeah. mentioning. Yeah, it was at the beginning of uh, last year. Rondi and myself, we uh, just kind of went in halves on doing just solo mining ETC, and we did pretty good. It was uh, it worked out well. Um, it was more profitable than like actually, you know, being in a pool mining. So that worked out until a bunch of people like or the hash rate rather on that got higher. Then yeah. we were like, OK, this is no longer, you know, we're at over 100 something percent. And it's like, OK, this obviously the difficulty rose to a point where it's it's not worth the risk. And that's kind of where we pulled the plug. But um, yeah, as far as solo mining goes, man, it's, I mean, crypto mining in general, like trading and stuff, it's like, it's similar to gambling, but like solo mining is like, you're really gambling. Like yeah. that's, that's, that's <laughs> there's, there's no question about it. You know, um, hobbyist, what do you think? Have you, have you tried it? Are you thinking about it or? Uh, I haven't tried it. I'd like to put, if not a rig, a GPU on it for fun. Like, I think it would be a fun, um, I'm thinking about doing a, just like a, a once a month, like I'm thinking about doing a one year challenge with one GPU that is a lower end GPU, just as like a fun content piece. Uh, and then doing like a monthly update on where we're at, you know, things like that. I think that'd be like fun. Um, right. it, it, as you guys said, it's a gamble and I'm okay with that, you know, uh, but I wouldn't take a, a higher end GPU and put it on there because at the end of the day, it's like, all right your upfront investment and now you get zero like you, know, like you get nothing yeah. for, for x amount of time versus right. like hey let me take a 300 or 500 gpu and throw it on it and and now we'll have some fun with it but um and you know things work out awesome you know great story to tell great content to do but uh yeah it's definitely a huge risk um i think a lot of larger farms don't do it because it's not a smart business plan. Like mm. you, you, you can't really do it in their situation. They're investing and they need to have a return and you need to be able to, to show that on your balance sheets versus like a, we're gambling X percentage of our farm and hoping that we hit something. It's like, eh, that's not really going to pay your bills. So um, yeah, I think it's a great idea. 
Uh, but I think it's all situational. Like, uh, yeah. like I got actually a question for you, Mike, is you're on Firo. When do you swap off? Like, how long yeah. are you doing this for? Like, what's your I don't know. plan? Okay. I have no plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like Never to a hit. plan. Yeah, actually, my first thought was like, mm, I'm getting a little unlucky. I'll just move more hash rate to it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> So really, Not I what hit, I expected. Yeah, I want to hit that. I think I'm going to move the 3070 TIs over there as soon as I can get them in a server case. Um, I just want to hit that master node and then I'll, I'll move off of it. But okay. there was two things I was thinking about today when I was watching DJ Mind's video. And one of the things is like you've heard from me doing solo mining, Red Panda doing solo mining, DJ Mind's doing solo mining. I can't remember. Like, and the best time to do solo mining is when the difficulty is really low because the hash rate was really low, which Correct. is like going back to like 20, late 2018, 2019, 2020, I just don't remember anybody really talking about solo mining back then. So I'm like, why is it a thing now all of a sudden when back then it would have made a lot more sense because there's so much less people mining. Um, the other thing I was thinking about, which I would, I would wish it was more widespread. So I don't know if you guys ever heard, there's something called party mining. And I think it's, yes. Zerg, it's Zerg pool that has had it for a long time. And this would be so fun, like for the mining community, but you essentially create a pool within a pool. So instead of solo mining by yourself, like the three of us could do a party mining and the three of us are essentially solo mining together. And then it splits the reward amongst us. Just like if we were essentially yeah. had our own pool and only the three of us were mining. Yeah. And I wish that was a little more widespread because that would be fun. Like imagine yeah. like a red Fox or a hobbyist or a chump change, like party mining on like a pool. You could have your communities in there and like, it would be just like a cool celebration when you guys hit a block or something and it would have luck yeah. score just like anything else. Uh, I would, if any, if any, if two miners is listening or ether mine or anybody else, let's go. Yeah, it would be you know, it would you be know we could push that through a little bit though, is somebody like minor pool, like they're a smaller pool in that regard. Their devs might be very easily to adapt to that and be like, Hey, you know, we'd love to see this and. Yeah. We're never going to mine on you again unless you do it. <laughs> <laughs> make some like cool videos and like to have the yeah. community in there and like be able to yeah, see everybody's cool. rig names and like, I don't think that'd yeah. be so fun. Yep. So like it automatically pays out evenly? Yeah. Split. Like, correct. Yeah. Interesting. It's so essentially you like you have like your do own. This. Right. God, it's sorry. Like you only, yeah. It's essentially like you have your own private pool with all your friends okay. is the way it kind of works out. It's just, I don't know. I think it's such a cool, I just, can't believe it hasn't been more widespread. Honestly, I think it's such a cool thing. So the only yeah, thing I, that would make me nervous about that is like, I don't know, like say you're putting, you know, five giga hash into this pool and then like, you know, you get four people that put in only a little bit, but you hit a block and you obviously know you were probably most of the, the chunk there, but it still gets divided. Well, it equally, gets divided based so off your hash rate. No, it gets yeah, divided like off your hash rate. Oh, yeah, okay. Like so, pool, all right. Based so off your shares. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like if I come in and I have 80% of the hash rate, you get and that you guys, percentage exactly and then okay, you guys get yeah. yeah i've heard i've actually had a few people step into my discord like talking about like their own private pools that they put together and it's yeah. like yeah but there's no there's no pool backing there so it's like you're trusting that you know they're doing it on their own and they're like hey do you want to join this type of deal and will, it's like yeah they're like i will definitely give you your ethereum i promise yeah, Fingers yeah, crossed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and i'm like stay away from that 100 yeah. percent. i actually had somebody the other day um they had come in and mentioned it um now they had been a member for some time it wasn't like you know the spammers and so i actually like responded to them I was like hey as much as you're all about this like I, this is very close to scammy and i'm like so if you could just refrain from like trying to add people and they were fine with it they were like, totally understood like which was nice versus like somebody coming in fighting against it because it is it is super scammy it's like you could have somebody come in and try to sell this to people and then great they hit a block and you never hear from them again and you get nothing yeah right which is always which is always definitely the case there um but yeah i mean i think solo mining is a is a fun i would my disclaimer to the community would be it is a fun idea to do if you have the hash rate or the, the cards to do it. But I would not put that investment out there and then just get on a solo mine and, and be because it would drive you nuts. You would be like where DJ Mines has said. And, and granted, we're using him as an example just because he has created content around it and he, he's more well known in the community. It's like he's saying like, you know, how he even said how much he was losing per day. 
off yeah. of doing that. And he was constantly looking at it, couldn't sleep. Yeah, over oh, it. I'd be the same way. <laughs> so, I'd be the same dude, way. I know, I know. So, like, what I'm thinking, right? Do you almost think like I would never be able to not stop thinking <laughs> if I just kept mining for one more day? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. If I, if I if I went thirty days, like 100%. I would just, I would just keep it on there until it hit a block yeah. because there's it's got to hit it. It's got to <laughs> hit it. Like you're there's like, no way, you know? your hair, dude. It's like you're oh. you're like seven hundred fifty percent luck. Your hair's down your shoulders. You haven't shaved. In months. <laughs> like you're not eating. You haven't seen the sun, dude. I just I would never ever stop thinking it. Dude, I would never dude, be able pocket to stop. change divorces you. Takes the kids. You're like I'm gonna hit a block. I promise. I swear. <laughs> but you know what? That same okay. So that same un, that same unhealthiness uh. that occurs is the same unhealthiness that occurs with like gambling issues exactly like that's, that's like when when you were t- like earlier when you're like oh i've thought about just throwing more on that fero i'm like that you literally <laughs> sound like a guy at a craps table that's like that i'm gonna lost. hit it i, swear I, I gotta, gotta get make it. it back i gotta yeah. double my bet All right yeah oh uh, man it, it is yeah, true so it true. is true oh no thanks that's nuts so um, other, other than that, uh, before we wrap things up here, I was curious on uh, what do you guys have coming down the pipeline here? Um, Mike had definitely spoke about starting to summer prep. It, it sounds like it's out there. Um, outside of that, what else do you guys have coming in the next few weeks? Just rig builds, GPUs, uh, content, you know, what's kind of on the horizon for you uh, that you're excited about? Right. So for me, uh, Again, it really uh, actually. I gotta, I gotta throw this thing in some mineral oil. I've been waiting to do that. Oh yeah, three of those. Oh my it. god, I, I those things that I got from anonymous miner. Just send them. I'll put them all in the tank. I'll put them all in the tank. Run, they run <laughs> so hot, it's ridiculous. I have some. Uh, this thing was I have, boiling. <laughs> it's it's. I, I'm on ergo. I'm on ergo, and they're like 75 degrees. Oh, it's ridiculous. Dude. What that are they? was they're the hottest five, card. They're four gigabytes. What are they? Five eighties. Five seventy. Five seventy. Yeah. Four gig and the MSI yep. and they're Hynix too. And the mm-hmm. MSI heat sinks are god awful garbage. I actually uh, have AC Infinity sent me some of their. Uh, they're almost like server, um, one hundred twenty millimeter fans. Like they are crazy. Like the RPMs on them are ridiculous. I'm going to install them in this rig just to cool those things because, like, Jeez. it needs the airflow. Nice. It's it's stupid. Dude, I had I a question. I Chun really can't the, wait. Yeah, what's with the back? Is that is that a custom yeah. back, right? Yeah, so he sent them to us. He bought these, like, yes. uh, heat sinks, and he actually yep. had a three, I think back it was a plate. three fan, like, cooler on this, too. Oh, I, I think actually swapped I saw it back. you post yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same so, thing. Yeah, it's literally just a massive heat sink. That's do you still is. have the so. Do you still have the pads on there that he sent out? Like the uh, pads, yeah, the pa- yeah, yeah. Those, totally those pads, those pads are like four. Like they're four oh, point oh, massive. Like they're massive. So God. Thick. Yeah, it's yeah. When I took that off, you almost <laughs> the you big all, blue ones. Yeah. <laughs> when I took that off, when I took that off, there was so much oil on it. I literally thought it was going to start dripping. Look, look at Dude, how just, look at how thick yeah. that thing is. It's, it's like. So- did you put that oil right into a frying pan and start cooking yeah. dinner or what? Bacon. <laughs> Bacon grease right there. Down south. Dude. Yeah, so that's I mean that's uh that's the big thing for me. I can't wait to put that in a tank. Um the only thing that sucks is I'm gonna have to figure out how to move it around after I do it. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, I don't know. That's that's coming up soon. But then um I gotta do all my thermal pads on my mech cards. Um yeah. they the fifty six hundred, fifty seven hundreds. Like, I just yeah, I have to do, do mine those. too. Can you do mine as well? Because I have uh, a 5700. I'll send you some. I'll send you yeah. some. Not those, but yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm excited to use the GPU risers, new thermal pads. They have new stuff out, and it's uh, it's actually pretty sweet. So I, I have some kicking around. I just got to do it. That's really nice. it. The only downside about the GPU risers one, I have to reach out to them. They only have 2.0 and 3.0, and a yep. lot of a lot of older cards, like not the 3000 series and stuff, use like. Like I just did a thirty sixty. It uses one point five actually, mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of my other ones are like one. So that's the only downside. Right. I, I wish they would stock some of that older stuff. Now, granted, I know, I know, you should have the have the newer stuff, but it would be nice if they stock some of those uh, because I know those are some of the oddballs out there. Like I was really right. surprised that the EVGA. It's a thirty sixty V one that I just did before this. I got out the digital caliber thanks to Mister Red Fox here for the recommendation. And uh, it was 1.5, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. that's surprising." Yeah, I mean, I- some 1.5s on the uh, 
I think it's on the 3090 as well. Yeah, so yeah. They, on the on the back or whatever. I mean, uh, yeah, for the active backplate, that's where I had to put them. So it's kind of yeah. I mean, they're you're right, you're right. It is kind of hard to have only two sizes. But thanks, yeah. Redbox. I'm all. I got the what is it, G lid or whatever. Yeah. Bro, dude, I have a stack of those like this. Oh I God. spent like <laughs> thousands hundreds of dollars, of dollars on. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh my God. G lid sponsor us. Oh. <laughs> I point. actually I had ah. some left over from um they had sent me a bunch to try out from critical pads. I don't know if you guys yeah. have heard of those before. I saw your video uh, on that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. They actually have a really good idea and I gave them kudos on it on critical pads where they're designing like a library for all of the thermal pad sizes and then you could buy them pre-cut too. So mm-hmm. like it's art that I mean for some, for an art situation buy too. a 3090 pack that'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, amazing. Everything's pre-cut for you and everything. It's like, wow, oh. that saves so much time can, and effort. Can they pre-peel it too? Yeah. Can they <laughs> send oh someone to my God. house to just replace <laughs> them too? <laughs> that would, you know, it'd be nice. Actually, if I got to throw this out there, somebody thinks about it. If in the pre-cut, X, if they, they have, get to a, it. Just, if they, well, if they have a giant sheet on each, imagine a giant sheet on like the plastic on each side. Yep. Then you could just peel the giant sheet, and now you're ready to go. Slap that on. would be. That would be. Oh my. Somebody do it, please. That would be amazing. awesome. It would That'd be a game changer. Yeah. Definitely. Red Fox might do thermal pads at that point. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so uh, well, what about what about you, Red Fox? What do you got in the pipeline coming up here in the next few weeks? Um, so I got, there's apparently a couple more algorithms for that FPGA I tested. Wow. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna dive into that. Apparently I can mine some other things really well besides Ethereum. I'm looking forward oh, to doing yeah. that. Uh, I'm going to do a rig build, I think, over the next couple days of 6600s. I got the GPU risers white open air frames. So I think I'm going to throw one together in there. You have 12, um, 16, 20 left, right? Over there, GPUs. 12, 16, 20. Yeah, 12, I got like 12, 16, or 20 like GPUs that. left. Yeah, I just. <laughs> so you better be oh building gosh, a rig. Dude. And then what else was I going to do? I'm going to do something else. I can't remember. I, I have a list, but it feels good. So I know you guys probably get in the spot too, where you're like, ah, what am I going to build, yep. film a video on now? I feel like yeah. I'm in a spot where I have a never ending list that I want to get through. I want to do some compare like 3080 TI versus 3080, 12 gigabyte comparisons. I want to do a video. This is actually an important one. I might do this one tomorrow. There's been so much, um, I'm going to say misinformation might be a little strong of a word out there around Jeep, the power that the PCIe slot can pull on GPUs, especially the 3080s, 3090s, um, which is saying it's like pulling over 100 watts. It's just not true. I just think there's meters out there that aren't accurate. Uh, And in my testing, it it, pretty much any GPU, which I haven't done them all, any GPU I've tested with the Elmore Labs PMD, yep, that guy right there, they will not pull more than essentially what SATA is rated for. Not saying you should use SATA, but they're like 54, 55, 56 watts, like they're yeah. running full tilt. They won't pull more than that. So, um, is there a way to force power through it or like, nah, I just, like the only thing that I haven't done, which somebody recommended is going over the hundred percent power limit and like MSI after burning, you to like one Oh five, one ten. Yeah. So I'm like, right. All right, yeah. Let yeah. me just push this thing and see. Just so, use old risers, man. Test them all. Yeah. Fucking blow so, them up. Dude, I want to, I'm like, <laughs> essentially maybe the video is going to be, can I get this thing to pull more than 55 Watts? That'd be great. Um, so I want to do that. Yeah. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I was thinking about it today is the, the 5,700 rig is in the bottom of my grow 10 because of the heat today. It's that rig's probably started like 10 times in Hive OS. And I know it's because the thermals <laughs> are getting too hot. Okay. So I think I'm going to pull all of those out and it's going to be an opportunity to also do a video on like, is the 5,700 and slash 5,700 XT worth it after Ethereum? Cause I, they've been on Ethereum since day one. I haven't put them on anything else ever. And if they're on Ravencoin, they got to melt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure, like, many people just have them because they're so good on ETH from day one. So I'm going to test those out and then maybe just replace those cards with like 6600s or something that runs really cool in the grow tent. So a lot of stuff that I want to do. We'll see what I get to. Um, but that's what's coming up for me. How about you, Hobbyist? So I've. I'm hoping I don't need to get a shed sooner than later. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, behind the scenes, a lot of groups reaching out to me for partnerships and stuff like that. And, and some ASICs and some other so really po- You're so popular. No, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be right now. 
Because I don't know where we're gonna put this stuff. We're now at the cool kids table. So cool. Uh, so glad to be here with you. Oh my god, that's not <laughs> what, what I'm trying honor. to say. But uh, right uh, in the middle of the screen too, the hobbyist miner. You're, you're making uh, him blush. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to plan ahead on that because I'm trying not to get a shed right now till like later in the summer. But um, I might have some some things coming that I definitely can't I can't sustain uh, yeah. with what I have set up right now. So that that's definitely in the back of my mind. Um, I I am finally uh, once I get these GPUs up and running, I'll finally have everything running right now, which is awesome. Uh, I'm excited about. It. I mean, not as backlogged as, as you are, but uh, it'll be nice to get this. This week I have a six six hundred rig, but I'm breaking it up into like five different videos. So it's going to be like the parts list, and then the mining rig build, and then an overclock video, and then so kind of splitting it up, trying something different uh, nice. in that regard. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. It's kind of fun to get into a rig build again. I uh, got some stuff coming down the pipeline here, uh, some more talking head videos and stuff like that. And then um, I still don't know what I'm going to do for 50K. I'm going to hit 50K here very soon. We're just shy of it. So I'm like, Dude, I don't know. Hit it in Vegas. Hit it in Vegas. 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 Live stream. Yeah. Put yes. all your crypto and GPUs <laughs> on black. Yeah, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. How close are you? That would be amazing. Can you imagine if you got to celebrate 50K in Vegas? Yeah. Uh, so it'll be I'll, I'll, I'll definitely hit it because i'm 49 500 or something like that yeah. i mean i'll Dude, hit that that'd be amazing that'd be yeah. so cool you could do what i did when i hit 50k nothing I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i'm not looking to do anything crazy uh i'm gonna be honest like you know but i'm just not sure i mean it's not like i'm, I'm pulling like a red panda mining and, and gonna be like hey i'm gonna give away everything under the sun um <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we'll see. What are we at now? We're at forty nine thousand. Wait for forty nine thousand four hundred forty six right now. Nice. Uh, so I'll so definitely. Dude, I'll, sick. I'll definitely hit that in the next week. That'd uh, be an so epic live stream. stream, dude. Epic. As soon as you hit fifty, I'm unsubbing. You yeah, know, right. Forty nine 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 nine. I actually went to uh, <laughs> you asshole. I actually went. To, I actually went to like. I actually um, after your live stream today, like you know how it kicks up, like pre, like if I just let it sit, I was doing stuff. It like re. It, your, your your 50k live stream popped up with like your balloons and stuff like that yeah yeah and, I, and it reminded me and i'm like god dang it i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do here um Dude. but uh yeah we'll see um uh it's a it's a cool milestone to hit so i'm excited Hell yeah, well, man. You, you better it's tell your wife to get on the same page because she she yeah. has to keep up with you know mrs red fox oh yeah. i know it's, it's so know. interesting so, cool. so like you guys have active wives in, within this um my wife is like not active at all like right my, my son knows more about crypto than my daughter does like he'll come downstairs he drew me like a picture the other day of like a mining rig and then drew me like pictures of like bitcoin and ravencoin and ethereum like the logos and stuff that's cool uh, i was like cool awesome so, but uh yeah my wife just I, she's never had like an interest in tech at all. Like that's just not her world. Not that it has to be, uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's funny. So she has started um, TikToks. Uh, I won't I won't say the the hobby. It's not anything illegitimate or anything like that. But um, she the other day was like, I just hit a hundred. Uh, I just hit a hundred followers, and I'm like, oh, awesome. You know, good for you. That's great. She's like, don't you dare tell me how many subscribers you have on YouTube. I'm like, all right, fine. I won't. Like I'm not Wait, doing it. Wait, she doesn't even know how many subscribers you have on YouTube? Nope, nope, not at all, not at all. So That's I'm just so like, weird. all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she enjoy she enjoys the additional income. What you know, which is nice. You know, we enjoy I'm so, the. the I'm but so yeah, you know what? Like, <laughs> she just she has no interest. Like, she's just like, all right, cool. Like, you know, great. You know, oh my and, god. I imagine I mean, pocket change like opens the door and is like, chump change. You got another one, another sub up. She's like on top of it when I hit like yeah. a milestone. She's like, boom, first one taking a picture of it. I'm like, that's Damn. awesome. Aww, that's so like, sweet, man. Holy hell, dude. That's yeah. I can't she don't even know like your sub count. That's good. Is she even no? she, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Does she, <laughs> hold on. Most important question. Does she know about us? No. Well, no, she knows about you because I visited you. She doesn't like, know about chump change? That, that random guy. She doesn't uh. know who chump change is. Well, because oh, trust oh me, when God. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go spend the day with some random guy in where where you live, um, yeah. and explain like this is what we're doing type of deal. So now that I've done it twice, <laughs> it's like you know, it's not an affair. I promise, it's not an affair. Right, <laughs> right. This, this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> well, only because of the fact where it's like, yep, I come home, I got all these GPUs, and I'm like, yeah, I got a bunch of content recorded and stuff like that. Um, That's so crazy. Yeah. I can't even That's believe so it. Funny. That's not. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, whatever. It's each his own. Everybody's different. That's right. That's, uh, yeah. It just goes to show everyone's situation's different. 100%. And, uh, 100%. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's cool. But yeah. just let you do it. That's the biggest thing. Well, you know? I, th- I think the difference is, like, when I played, when I, like, streamed video games and stuff like that before this world, it yep. wasn't lucrative. So it wasn't, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, you, you can't see it. Right, right. But, like, the benefit is, like, you know, now, like, um, you know, when I when my wife explains like, oh yeah, this is like a, a hobby he does, but she, she'll explain like it is financially lucrative for us. Like it has worked out very well and things like that, and uh, right. not just from crypto, but also from the YouTube content. So there's that respect factor there, which is awesome, which is good. Right. And and you know, um, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of where it's at. I mean it's funny though because like I'll never take that step that crypto mining would replace my full time job. Like. I don't think I'll ever be there in that regard, like YouTube content, regardless, because it's just too far away. So it's not like, a, hey, this is what I do full time now. Um, right. But yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. But that's 50 K's around the corner. So I'm excited for that. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it is, especially for I wish I hit it within a year. That would be kind of cool. This will end up being about a year and a month and a half so maybe 13 and a half months is kind of what i'm estimating uh which is cool uh but you know there's always somebody bigger there's always somebody that does better so you know it's it's uh something to look forward to so i gotta i gotta gotta catch up to red fox that's all that matters we're all all gonna we're all gonna just always be in seb's shadow over here so (laughs) don't worry who's seb i don't know who (laughs) seb is uh all right wrap this one up we're just about now yeah Yes, please. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 11 of Mining Roundtable. May, I'll put links to these guys' channels down below. Uh, please make sure that you guys go subscribe to them. Check out their fantastic content. They do a really good job. Uh, we will be back at it again next week with episode 12 on Chump Change channel. Uh, uh, other than that, for myself, Red Fox Crypto and Chump Change, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace. Peace.